Hi, Grasshoppers, Master C here. Uh, I hope you're ready for another awesome class because we've got another good one for you. Before we jump in, a couple little things. Uh, as always, thank you for continuing to send in the videos and a lot of you guys are sending in your training logs, so we're counting your attendance, so great job for that. If you haven't done that yet, just feel free to shoot uh, me an email or Master Cosby an email, or you can text that information to that karate phone and we can get them their credit for their classes. Uh, also, in these videos, you see that we do a lot of good working out and then we have some still shots during the actual workout portions that have timers. Um, I was thinking the other day, what would be better than me being in those pictures would be if you guys were in those pictures. So you don't you certainly don't have to if you don't want to, but if you want to be in these, you can talk with your people at home about it and they can just send me an email or a text with the picture that they want and uh, with their permission to use you in there and I can add that in there. I think it'd be fun to have some of the other students to be a part of these workouts as well. Now, as always with our second class of the week, we're gonna get started with a little concentration counting before we actually bow in our class. So if you would have a seat crisscross for me. Good, you know the deal guys. Good crisscross, hands on our knees, eyes closed. We're gonna to count it together. And today we're gonna to go, we'll keep it real simple today. How about just nine? Okay, now you're gonna to wanna to count that 10th one, but you're gonna, you gotta stop at nine and we'll count back down to one. Here we go guys, ready? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and break. Again, great job. A lot of people working hard, but it's hard to say that anyone did a better job than this ninja right here. <laughs> Boom. Excellent, guys. We'll get bowed into our class. So face right up here, and you're gonna repeat after me and say feet together. Feet together. Hands by your side. Hand by your side. Eyes straight ahead. Eyes straight ahead. And bow. And bow. Good, turn and face the flags. Right hand over your heart. Cookie barre. Cookie barre. Paro. Paro. Good, face the pictures of the Grand Masters. Konjan Im, Turiyat. Kunye. Kunye. Face up front one more time. Kunye. 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 Awesome. Got a fun warm up for you today. We're going to be working some animal walks. Now, before we jump into it, grab yourselves a quick sip of water and we'll make it happen. All right, guys. So, first round for animal walks. You know Easter's coming up soon, so I thought we would start with a bunny, okay? Now, typically in class, you guys know, we will be hopping down towards the mirrors. We turn around and, and jog it back, uh, maybe trade place with our partners for today. Since you're at, at home, your job is to animal walk or bounce kind of around the area that you're in. So if you're in your living room, you might like animal walk around the couch. I don't know what you're gonna do. You might animal walk up to your dog, maybe pet him once or twice, and then come right back this way. But just make sure you're kind of moving around or if your space is a little bit more confined, you can do your animal walks kind of in place. All right, now the bunny one, you're gonna have our bunny ears. They're gonna come right up by our head and your job is to hop around in that bunny position. All right, I'm gonna give you guys 20 seconds for those bunny hops, ready? And here we go. Great job with those bunny hops. Next one, I'm gonna choose one of Master Cosby's favorites, the inchworm. Okay, so when we do this one, and I'll be honest with you, I'm not the greatest inchworm, but I'm gonna give it my best shot for you. You're gonna be in your kind of stretched out worm position. You're going to squeeze your body up and then inch forward. <laughs> squeeze up and inch forward. So you'll be inchworming all around your living room and it's gonna be a good time. Your pets are gonna be confused when they're watching you for sure. But again, we'll give you 20 seconds for it. Have some fun. Awesome. 
Awesome job, guys. Next one, another one of my favorites, the giraffe walk. Now, are giraffes really small or are giraffes really tall? Tall. They're tall. You guys know the deal. So you're going to be way up on your tiptoes, neck stretched, because giraffes like to eat those leaves up at the top of the trees. So you're going to be kind of prancing around, chomping those high leaves, getting up as high as you can while you're moving around your living room. So have some fun with it. We'll give you another 20 seconds and we'll see you right back here. Good job with the giraffe walks. We're gonna finish off strong. Final animal walk is going to be the crab walk. So when we do this, we're gonna do what I call the classic crab, because a lot of times the students wanna do their crab walk kinda of like this, which would be okay, but we're gonna do crab walking this way. So we're on our, on our hands and feet with our tushy close to the floor, and we're moving around just like this. All right, so we'll give you guys, again, about 20 seconds to crab walk around your house. Awesome job with the warm up. We're gonna do a quick stretch. So go ahead and put your hands on your hips and hip circles. Good, other way. Good, arms out of your sides, arm circles backwards. Good, I'm gonna mention the training logs again real quick while we're stretching. Go ahead and switch directions. Some students, there's quite the streak going on. I think the current longest streak is 15 or 16 days in a row, something like that, back and forth across your chest. And people are upping the game. Some students have started submitting over, you know, multiple classes in one day. So I'm not saying everybody has to do that. I'm just saying it's gonna be kind of a fun competition to see who gets the most classes in. Go ahead and link your hands, trunk twist. Good, hands on your hips, head side to side. Looking left and right. Good, looking inside out. No, that's a weird one. Good, up and down. <laughs> if you figure out how to look inside out, send me a video, because I'd be curious to see that. Good, go ahead and spread your feet. Lean forward. One hand on each foot. In fact, just one finger, your pointer finger on your big toe, each foot. Good. Repeat after me. Hana. Hana. Tu. Tu. Set. Set. Net. Net. Tase. Tase. Yase. Yase. Ilga. Ilga. Yoro. Yoro. Up. Aho. Chu. Chu. Very nice. I like how you were counting every time. Really nicely done. Perfect job. All right, guys. Grab one more quick sip, and then move into our first main drill for today. All right, so self-defense week. I'm really excited about this topic for today because honestly, we don't talk about it a whole lot, but we probably should, right? A lot of times in class, we talk about somebody grabs our wrist or somebody grabs our neck or they're grabbing onto our body. Today, we're gonna to talk about clothing grabs, okay? So you will need a partner, so maybe one of your people at home can help you out, or if you have a brother or sister, uh, the dog or the cat, probably not gonna be good partners for this one. So I'm gonna call out my super partner, Master Cosby, to come right out here and help me. Now, first grip. Uh, this is gonna be if you're wearing long sleeves, so if you have your dobuck on, that's great, or if you have like a jacket on or a coat, then this would be a time where maybe you could use this. So Master Cosby is gonna grab onto my sleeve. Now, you'll find if I try to just like push her hand away, it turns out her grip is really strong. Now, I may be able to snatch away, but that's also not very easy to do. 
But thankfully, there's a really simple technique that's, that's super effective for this one. So I'm gonna take my hand and open it kind of like a C. I'm gonna rotate my arm to the outside of her, so kind of on the pinky side of her hand. At this point, I'm gonna grab her wrist or just kind of push her hand across. It doesn't look like much, and this is, this is another one of the techniques that the first time I saw it, I wasn't really sure how great it was, but I've used it a, a lot of times. So again, she grabs on to my sleeve. I can't come to the inside. It's not as effective here. I'm going to circle my hand to the outside, and I'm pushing on her wrist with that section of my hand between my thumb and my pointer finger, and just driving across. So she grabs the other side, same thing. I'm going to open my hand. Good, come to the outside, capture her wrist, and just push to clear. So that's gonna be our first one. We're gonna work this out. Gonna give you guys about 45 seconds to play with that one. Make sure you work both sides. Have some fun with it. Good job with that sleeve grab. Really cool technique. Uh, next one is going to be based on a front collar or a lapel grab. So Master Cosby comes up and grabs me. Again, this can be kind of a challenging situation. So I'm gonna take both of my hands. Remember that C that we used before? We're gonna put two of them together. So I'm gonna grab on to her wrist with both of my hands. Now, if she was threatening to strike me, I would certainly want to be careful because this doesn't hurt. She can squeeze this as much as she wants and there's no pain. So I want to make sure she's not going to punch me in the face first. But when it's time to clear this grip, both hands are going to go on her wrist. And the direction that I push her wrist away is really important. Right now, her fingers are kind of pointed towards the camera. And if I push her hand that way, I'm kind of feeding into the grip. So she's kind of strong. I kind of want to push away from her grip. So I'm going to push away and upward a little bit to clear. She can grab with the other hand. I'm going to grip her wrist. Again, I'm not going to push this way. I'm going to push towards the outside up and away to clear the grip. All right. Lapel grab. Again, I'm going to give you guys about 45 seconds to play with this one. Work both sides and work hard. All right, guys, before we get to our third and final one, I want to address a little thing because students would all, will often ask about this. Back to that lapel grab, what if they grab on with both hands, okay? Now, there are lots of things that we can do to deal with this situation, um, but for the sake of just actual defending ourselves, one of my first instructor always told me not to ignore the easiest possible solution. And from here, that is if she's grabbing on with both hands, there's nothing protecting her. So I can strike at her eyes, I can knee to the groin, right? There's lots of options that I have that can help me clear this. That's not like some sophisticated, high level type of technique, okay? So that can be fun for that one. Now, the final technique that I did wanna go through for today was if somebody grabs onto our ankle or like the, our pant leg down by our feet. Now this could happen, maybe in a scuffle, I get knocked down, <laughs> boom, I'm down on the ground. She grabs onto my pant leg. Now I'm gonna give you two options for this one. Option one, do I need to be somewhere else? I just want to make sure they can see. 
Okay, option one. She's grabbing here. I'm gonna take my other leg, I'm gonna kind of roll to my side, and I'm gonna kick her hand off my pants to clear. That can be one. Or, just like we did with the sleeve grab earlier, we made a C with our hand and circled to the outside. I'm gonna do the same thing with my foot. Naturally makes this C, I'm gonna circle my foot to the outside. Now here's the trick. If I just go to push, my pants will go with it, okay? So this being a family environment, or I don't wanna keep my pants on. So I'm gonna grab onto my own pant leg, then circle my foot to the outside and drive across. That way I'm able to clear her grip without losing my pants at the same time, okay? So one more time for each of those. She's grabbed on. Option one, I'm gonna to turn to the side and kick her foot, her hand off. Option two, I'm gonna grab onto my own pant leg, circle my foot to the outside, and then drive across to clear the grip, okay? We'll give you guys 45 seconds. Have some fun with that. Now, tigers and hoppers, do not kick your people with this one. Be friendly and nice. Great job with those self-defense techniques, guys. We're gonna finish off our class with, this is truly Master Cosby's favorite game. She's always loved this one. This is the dead bug game. Now, most of you guys are dead bug experts, but if you haven't played this one before, or it's been a little while, let me explain how it works. We're gonna choose uh, different types of bugs to move around and kind of act like. So, for example, if I was just choosing like an ant, I'd be moving around on the ground like an ant, as soon as you hear me double clap and say dead bug, your job is to flip over on your back and put your hands and feet in the air totally still. Got it? All right, first bug. We're gonna be doing the, the grasshopper. It's a great bug. You're gonna be hopping around. Now, again, make sure you don't bump, bump into any furniture or any pets or anything like that. So go ahead and get in your grasshopper position. Ready and go. We're hopping around. Hopping around, you guys are doing great with it. Keep working hard, keep working hard. Dead bug! Flip over on your back. Let's see. I'm gonna check and see how crunchy you are. So I'm just gonna kind of push on that leg there. Okay, kind of plopped over. Very good, okay, right back up. Next round, we're gonna do, how about the bumblebee? I like this one, you just have to be careful not to actually sting anybody. Ready, get set, buzz, buzz, buzz. We're moving around, little bumblebees. You guys are doing great. Keep it moving, watch out for the dog. Good, dead bug. Now I'm coming around with my bug spray this time. When I spray it, it's gonna, you're gonna fall right over. Good, good, <laughs> gotcha. Next one, let's do the ladybug. Ladybug is a good one for this game because you can crawl around or you know ladybugs can fly. So you have some choices there. So go ahead and ladybug it up, guys. You're moving around. Those ladybugs are going everywhere. Nice job and dead bug. All right. I'm coming around with the bug zapper. So this time, if you get touched, you're electrocuted just for a moment and then you'll fall off to the side. Good, so I'm looking for an arm to creep. Okay, here's the arm. Okay, good. Coming in here, ready? Good, all right. Good work, guys. Let's finish it out. Go ahead and stand up nice and tall. Good, check it Couldn't yet. Awesome job. Hey, thanks for doing class with us again today. Uh, remember, if you wanna be in one of these next class videos, uh, have your people send me an email or a text with a cool picture of you working out, doing your karate, and permission to include you, and I'd love to have it. That'd be great. So have a good one, guys. We'll see you next time.